Hey everybody, Scrap and Salvage here. Another Tuesday, another pick. Let's show you some of the fun stuff we found. Got a couple clothes items here. Nothing too off the, too crazy, but kind of fun. This sparkly kind of jacket by Lily Diamond of California. It actually has another little um, dress in here, but it's pretty stained up, so I left that out of the lot. But uh, Lily Diamond, little sparkly jacket for the evening. The tire does have some condition issues. I'm hoping this stuff, this little stain will come out, but probably not. But uh, just a beautiful, uh, well-made garment. And this one's de Denver, and the better of the lot. Uh, kind of an Indian uh, Indian dress, probably a little sarong. And uh, love the, kind of like the hyper color look of it. So another nice dress there, vintage. Moving on to more of the tchotchkes. Uh, a couple black and whites because I always love to find those, but this one's cool. It's got this old motorbike. Is it a Harley? It looks like a Harley. I'm not too sure. Uh, from the early teens, probably with a sidecar. Harold in sidecar. It's one of those postcards, pictures. They're cool. This was sweet. This is um, ringtail, and it goes with these Angelus ringtail snorters. And it's like a little uh, work baseball club. Um, I've got a couple other, a patch from Angelus and some drinking glasses. And I believe this is a manufacturer that was like sheet metal back in the day. So this is probably their team for their, their workspace. But uh, it's a cool old picture. I thought that was neat. Black and white's kind of rough shape. This cover is at least in the, so are the photos. But I can't leave these behind because they're just so fun to look at. Uh, the different uh, eras, old cars and whatnot. But uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Not too many picks in there, but this I think was probably one of the gems. This great bound postcards book, just filled with a lot of different postcards. 1907, 1908, and uh, just a great assortment. Some are used, some are new. I, I love old postcards, so just seeing this stuff is so cool. Uh, what's great is these are not glued down. A lot of times, you know, scrapbooks and stuff's glued down. You got to pull them off and leaves a mark and, and you risk tearing as well. But just a cool assortment. According to directions. <laughs> different stuff. I have this one, Order of the Owls. That's pretty sweet. So anyway, you get the idea, but just a ton of cool old postcards. Oh, from Valentine's Day. Greetings from Port Angeles, Washington. Maybe it is Port Angeles. I don't know. I know there's an Angeles, um, like a metal sheet metal factory, but maybe Port Angeles, the Angeles Snorters is, is from that area. So I could be wrong. Yeah, because there's another Port Angeles, Washington. So that's probably what it is. Cool totems here. So you get the idea. Great assortment of postcards. Some fun stuff here. Postcards can have some value. Especially some of them with the, the early stamps on them, if they're really clean. I've never seen these before, these rubber craft ashtrays. The West's leading craftsman in rubber. So it almost looks like one of those shuffleboard pucks or something, but it's kind of cool. Ann and Dye's little ashtray. Got one in blue and red, and this one in kind of a gold. So those are kind of cool. Need a wipe down, but. Something you'd probably see at a bowling alley in the 50s and 60s. Have some pottery here. These were kind of cool. Never been used. Just not sure what that signature is, but uh, kind of more of the seven, late 60s, 70s look to them. Little bud vase right here. Another little, little signature right there. Little planter. This one was my favorite. It's got this really cool pattern on it. I think it's Japanese. Great leather work, um, hanging planner, just really cool design and um, quality of work. I thought that was pretty neat. So pretty cool. Looks like this one's new as well. Fun little tchotchke here. Just thought it was kind of neat. Little bone, a uh, little sailing ship, Japanese. Kind of cool, vintage little piece. Four bucks, couldn't pass it up. Then here, this is cool. This is like a brand new spice rack. Spice and Variety Shelf by Dormetco, $1.59. So it's two shelving things stacked and you can just, they just hinge on, I don't know, cupboard or something, but uh, kind of fun to find a new old stock with the screws. So it's kind of sweet. This little goodie box, got a straight razor, 
Sheffield, England. Let's see if the blade is good. I think it is. Hmm. Perfect, but still. Sheffield, England. Pretty cool. For a while, this all this bar stuff was was pretty hot. Kind of cooled, but these are all little Honer Marine Band Honer harmonicas. I'm not sure if they're all in different keys, but they're all 4440. So oh it is. It says F G B flat and D. Pretty good. This is kind of neat. It's this old little pouch. Definitely tell it's old. It's probably from the early 1900s or late 1800s, but it's got this, uh, these little cards. I don't know if they're business cards or like buddy cards. They have my kindness regards, or there maybe there's someone who's a death or something. And, but uh, cool stuff on them. They're all men though. Huh. You get the idea, but just a cool little pouch with some embroidered flowers on it. Maybe it's like a funeral card thing. I'm not too sure, but uh, it's kind of a neat little thing to find. Cool old slinky in a box. It's a vintage one for sure. Printed in USA. Look at that. It's kind of cool to find the box with it. Cool old slinkies. I don't know how long the box will last, but it's kind of a fun little thing to find. Have this uh, little satchel by Faust Maker. It's passing California. This is a city that's right here. And um, I, I want to say this is to do something with hunting or shooting because the, the family that I got it from said the grandpa was a a hunter, but this is also by Faust. It's really beautiful leather work with the uh, bullet sleeves in it. So it's kind of a cool thing to find together. So I'm not exactly sure what that was for, but probably just to hold extra ammo or something. And moving on, got these cool little uh, Levi's 501, little drawstring bag. Oops, broke that, uh-oh. But uh, with the dark denim, kind of cool. This little satchel bag. Kind of fun. So anything Levi's usually sells. A couple vintage cigarette vintage cards. I don't know. Let's grab that. Here we go. This is a cool uh, Coca-Cola. Enjoy Coca-Cola uh, thermometer. Made in USA. It's a vintage one. Not sure how old. Probably from the late 60s, 70s. I know. Enjoy. I forget when they started using Enjoy. But uh, kind of cool. Your wall. Coca-Cola collector out there. Carlsberg beer advertising. Little display piece in plastic. This is kind of cool. It's cool early times boxes filled with a bunch of these uh, uh, little mini airline kind of uh, liquor bottles. You've got little different ones, a variety of them all still filled. Harvey's medium dry Emmentalato cocktail sherry. Probably not pronouncing that right, but there we go. Crown Royale by Seagram's. It's pretty sweet. I haven't really sold these before, so I'm not sure if there's a huge market in them, but I thought that was kind of cool because there's a bunch of them. It's in Spanish. Pernod. Imported from France. Is this like um, it's a liqueur? Anyway, you get the idea. So fun to find a little box of these little things. Been sitting in a closet for like 40 years. Do you have some more art and stuff? We're going to move over here. This is by a guy, Lloyd Mitchell, I believe is his name. I think he's, he's a known artist. I don't know how known. I believe this is by him too, it says Mitch 1952 or 58, it's another oil on the board. So kind of fun, nice use of colors here. More Asian style decor. And one of the better things is this Schlitz malt liquor display, lights up, does work. Another little metal flower kind of floral hanging uh, wall decor, kind of fun. And uh, last but not least is Heather Lloyd Mitchell, a uh, little landscape of horses in the pasture. Kind of cool by a little river. Love the use of those colors. And I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah, this was the haul this week. And uh, thank you again for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate our viewers. And uh, thank you again for watching. And we'll see you next time.